Hi folks, this is Tony at Travel Scoot again. Today I'm going to show you how to use and install the auxiliary battery tray. It's a handy little, what, $45 accessory that uh, you can purchase with a Travel Scoot or as a separate accessory. Uh, it's reasonably popular and very useful for folks that have a great deal of difficulty bending over to remove the battery from its standard position. Uh, I'll just hold it up here in place very briefly to show you approximately what it does. This now becomes the battery holding fixture and raises the battery up about uh, five inches. And I'll go to showing you how easy it is to install. The items that the auxiliary battery tray uh, is delivered with are, well, obviously the tray, four plastic clamps, two strips of adhesive backed hook Velcro and two longer straps of just plain loop Velcro. The installation is straightforward enough. I would start by taking a grease pencil or a dry erase marker perhaps and measuring about four inches out on your yoke each side. And that is for the outer edge of the shorter strips of adhesive backed hook velcro. It's probably a good idea to keep the gap on the underside but all you're going to do is take these and apply them around your yoke and the distance from your seat pipe stem is not critical. It's good enough to get an approximation. Just looks a little better if you get it even. If you goof it up, don't worry about it. You can pick up adhesive backed Velcro at any department store, sewing supply place, or heaven forfend, we have to send you a couple pieces of replacement. Okay, next up, very simply remove your yoke, slide the seat post, or rather the auxiliary battery tray over your seat yoke, like this. Get it up to about the level you want and reinsert it take your largest five millimeter allen wrench and insert it into the allen head screws on the back side you will need a you will need a 10 millimeter either box end wrench or open end or combination wrench a pair of pliers works in a pinch <laughs> and just hold on to the bolt there and begin to tighten. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> Don't be a hater. That's reasonably tight. I'm just going to look over here, make sure we're reasonably even. You can use the battery lying flat into the tray as a sight line. Okay, now we've got the auxiliary battery tray in place and tight. You can just take your battery, whether it's the newer 274 watt hour lithium ion battery or one of the older metal case batteries, either way, set it in the tray. Take your Velcro strap, slide it over so it captures the Velcro on the battery as well as the tray. And there you have it. That's all there's to it. Now you have access to the battery about uh, five, six inches higher than with the lower installation. Thanks again for watching and happy scooting.